After two years, finally justice for Kendrick Castillo and eight others injured in the shooting at the STEM school Highlands Ranch. Both shooters have now been found guilty. Nine News reporter John Glasgow is live outside the Douglas County Courthouse this morning. Uh, John, Devin Erickson will be sentenced in September. That's right, Natasha. He was convicted on all 46 counts after this trial was delayed multiple times due to the pandemic. And when that verdict was read, it was a moment of relief for families and the victims. I never thought I'd be in front of a dozen cameras fighting for justice for a crime that should have never happened that took our son from us. John Castillo's son Kendrick died rushing a school shooter to save his classmates. He was the first to lunge at Devin Erickson when Erickson and Alec McKinney opened fire inside the school. The jury didn't buy the argument that Erickson was coerced into the shooting by McKinney. It took the jury less than four hours to come to that decision. For students like Mitchell Krause, who testified in against his attackers rather, and for mothers like Maria Albertoni, whose son Lucas was shot twice, the verdict was a moment that they've been waiting for. I was just a mother raising my kids, and all of a sudden, life opens your eyes and tells you don't take anything for granted. Now that <clears throat> I can be sure that, that point, this monster, to be honest, uh, is never going to see the light of day again, um, it's just a, a weight off my back, you know. We'll never quit missing him, we'll never quit honoring him, and uh, this day is justice for him. So Erickson faces a mandatory sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole. Natasha will be back in court in September. John, thank you. The other shooter pled guilty last year. He testified against Erickson last week, and he has a chance of getting parole. That's thanks to a state program called Juveniles Convicted as Adults. It allows for teens tried as adults to have their sentences reduced by the parole board and governor. Nine News legal analyst Scott Robinson says, though, it's vague. The law does not define what is and what is not an extraordinary mitigating circumstance, um, but certainly um, truthful testimony at an important trial of a co-defendant could be seen as such. Um, it probably is not enough in and of itself, but it would be a factor considered down the road when McKin McKinney is looking for early parole. Since the act passed in 2016, 21 people have been accepted into the program. Alex McKinney is uh, eligible since he was 16 at the time of the shooting.